because it has that carbon carbon pie electron system bond which will polarize the iodine molecule yes it's not attacked by this one it's not attacked by it's attacked by this one that's why i say resonance resonance structures are important it's not this one that attacks is that is this one that polarizes the iodine not this so i'm just showing you that remember if you conceal if you conceal with your hand or so you conceal this oxygen here and the negative charge this is an alkene you agree this is like yeah. an alkene you agree once i put oxygen or i put anything but i know the reactive side is this this, is, this will behave like an alkene regardless of where it is this part will behave like an alkene this one that is moving will behave like an alkene throughout nice so that's why i'm going back to first year some of you are saying is he undermining us i'm just showing you that all what you are doing at honors is a complex uh, not even complex let me say well we we have correlated a few topics together in at first you are dealing with an alkene you are dealing with an alkyne separately when you go to honors and higher levels they are in the same molecule they are in the same molecular structure you find there's an alkene carbon carbon double bond it should behave like an alkene and then there's a carbon oxygen double bond should behave like a ketone or aldehyde and so on and so on <laughs> I've forgotten what I was going to talk about. I've forgotten. But I think I brought this when I was, I was trying to answer my colleague before that. Uh, okay, I, I, I have done. Oh, I, I wanted to talk about resonance structures. Okay, good. I'm coming to resonance structures. So we have got this, and I said to you, this is, I will always write the carbocation with loops. Why? Because it will remind me. The rope is empty. That is where the electrons are going to. If I do mechanism, I'll write it with ropes. I won't forget. And then I said to you, what type of a carbocation is this one? Primer. What type? It's primary. One, zero. Primary. Because why, why do you say it's primary? Because the positively charged carbon is attached to one carbon. Only one carbon, yes. I'm trying to check that this says attach another source of electricity. I see maybe one of the cables is loose. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but it looks like it's charging. Yes. Did you hear? Ask yourself why I asked him a question. In science, you just simply don't say he's a human being. Why? Well, you say why? You say he has a head, hands, and so on. He's a male because he has beard and so on. What you see, not what you imagine. And everything you say, you must be able to defend. So I said to you, a primary carbocation is electron withdrawing. Ultimately, we always say the metal group is electron donating. By what effect? By which effect? By which effect? Hmm. Well, this, this is on us. It's not first year. We have only two. We have only two factors that control reactivity. One is steric factors, which deals with size. In fact, there are two. Okay. It's steric, okay. which deals with... What? Guess it. Tell me. Talk. The second, is the second is electronic effect. But electronic, there are two types of electronic effects. Which ones are those? I'm, not, I'm hoping you are writing down. What? No, inductive effect and resonance effect. Resonance. Okay. Listen carefully. I should not be teaching this. I teach this to my first year. The notes I sent you are first year notes for, for my UNISA first year chemistry. But I notice you need them. They are not, they are not sent to you to, to demean you. No, no, no. You, you really need them to read and refresh your mind. So what I'm saying to you is that there are two factors that control reactivity. is structural, which is size, steric factors, and electronic. But electronic is divided into inductive effects and resonance effects. I'll explain what I mean. Steric factors deal with size. Electronic is inductive effect. Inductive effect is this way. I induce you. It's inductive. It operates through sigma bond, through sigma bond, and it involves electronegativity difference. For example, this is inductive effect. This carbon is electron rich. 
That one is electron poor. So the electron poor one induces the electron rich one to donate. It induces it to donate. I, I will still together because you're not talking and I no longer see myself now. The screen of oh, my computer. Kimen. Can we see each other? Hello? Yes, I think that the battery, the battery went off, but can you see the board? Oh, no, we can see the board. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, it's here. I think the battery went off. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I saw that. Yeah. I saw you. <laughs> hey. I was trying to connect them. I don't know why. No, this. Just, just, just a second, colleague. Put on. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll get there. <laughs> I know it's working. No, I am in South Africa. It gives me. I'm, I'm taking a break a bit. I've been preaching. <laughs> I think six months from now will be far all this because. Okay. I think this COVID is enough. Yeah, we meant them to go on to something different. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll have to advance in the end. Yeah. hope it doesn't take too long. Yeah, to charge him. Yeah, I guess it was. To tell. Reactivity. I said one has to do with size. There are factors. If a place is not accessible, there cannot be a reaction. Bulky groups will prefer to attack small sizes. That is what is there factors. We can explain those differently. But we also have electronic. Electronic has got to do with inductive effects and resonance effects. Resonance effect operates through pi bonds. You must note those down because I'm going to use these terms throughout and I'm not going to come back to the same ways. And then, inductive effect. Inductive effect has got to do with, 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 with uh, electron cool through, through sigma bond. We're just connecting the, reconnecting the, the computer. I'm, I'm coming back, just taking a break. Yeah, well, uh, it's connected now. So, Colleagues, okay. I want to take you because these are the most important aspects you have got to know when you do when you do organic chemistry. 
or we're for inductive effect. Which operates through sigma bond as it involves different yielding electronegativity. I said to you before, between this carbon, I mean the positive charge carbon and the, 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 the one with, the, with complete valence, which one is more electronegative? You said it's the positive one because it's electron poor. So the positive one pulls electrons away from CH3. CH3 is donating, or you can say the positive carbon is pulling. But you also have resonance effect. I'll start with resonance effect this way. CH2. Maybe I put CH2 plus here. That way. Okay? That is resonance. I'll show you what I mean by resonance effect. Oh, let me not change things. All right, good. Resonance, what I mean by resonance effect. Uh, <coughs> this I said is inductive effect, this is resonance effect, resonance effect. This is a very important concept in chemistry, I'll show you why, okay? If you look at this one, I'm just removing the, I'll, I'll, I'll summarize it like, I'll put IE, it's not an abbreviation for an inductive effect, I'm just putting it so that the screen is not, is not, is not crowded, don't use abbreviations when you answer. Resonance effect operates through pi bond, it's, it's also called conjugative effect, conjugative, but I guess resonance will be easy to remember and to, to use, conjugative effect. What this really means, remember here, under resonance effect, I'll, now I'll summarize it to RE. RE. Because I want you to, to, to bring a concept that, to make it understandable here. If you look here, uh, the best way to write it such a way that everyone sees it. I put H. Come on. And then I put H here, okay? Uh, there's an H missing here. Let me spread them so that I'm writing them the way I want you to write in the exam. Because you sometimes put 10 electrons around the carbon and I give zero. I, if you start with, with a carbon with 10 electrons, I no longer even mark the remaining part. It means you, are, you don't know noble gas configuration, the basics. So you have got this molecule, all right? Again, I'll label my ball pi and sigma. Which one is, can easily move? Which one, between a, which one between sigma and pi electrons can easily move? The pi. 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 The pi. The pi. Go and read out their forms. I'm not going to go to head-on collision, sideways collision. This pi electron, so this is this part here, this part here, is electron reach, you agree? Yes. And this, and this part here is electron poor. Why do I say electron poor? Why do I say electron poor? Electron, uh, the, the positively charged carbon is running short of two electrons. Mm. You agree that the positively charged carbon is running two, the, short of two electrons to complete the noble state, noble gas configuration? Yes. yes. Are we agreeing? Yeah. So now, this one. Every atom is in noble gas configuration, but the pi electron can be easily delocalized. So this pi electron will move over to here. You see that? And when they move yeah. over to that, when they move over to that, we, it's not, they'll come back. So we we'll have CH, H. What are, we, what are we formed here? What are we formed at the top here? What are we forming here? Yes, what are we forming between? What? We're not forming CH plus. I'm asking you, what are we forming by that movement, by this movement of, of electrons? What are we forming? Second. A second carbon cation. No. That's the a problem with bond. you. are not memorizing another chemistry. You are memorizing, not another, we are forming a pi bond, not another. We are just forming a pi bond. There it is. Don't memorize the key. Look there to get to the solution. Here we've moved these pi electrons or the pi bonds over to this side, I must see it here. 
But this carbon has an age. I'm rewriting it. Maybe let me write in green. Now here, yeah, the five bond is no longer there. How many bonds do we have here between the two carbon? How many bonds are we going to have here? One. 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 The same bond. But we still have age. We still have age. We agree. Yes. We agree. So what do you expect on this C now? What do you look like on Positive charge. An empty, an empty P orbital, and what? And what? Positive. Positive charge. Just there. And the reverse is possible. When this one goes back, it gives you that. You see that? That's why we write them and then close them in square bracket. Because the reverse gives you the first. You see that? Are we agreeing? Yes. yes. They are equivalent. That's why the, the arrow in between is, for, is facing up and down. It means you can go up, you can go down. They are equivalent. But now, what I want you to explain, I want to explain to you, and you must listen carefully. I'm hoping you are writing. Uh, out of 100 percent, how many positive charges are here? Out of 100 percent, is one. We agree. So it is 100 percent. If you take one as 100 percent. This is 100% positively charged. We agree. Mm. We agree. So, how many percentages are, are distributed here in this resonance? This will be how many percent? This one. And this one will be how many percent? Out of one. Divide 100 by the double structure. 50%. 50% positive. 50% positive. We agree. Which yes. one distributed the positive character? Which one between the inductive effect and resonance effect distributes the charge? The resonance effect. Spread the charge. The resonance effect. So it's, uh, it's like this. Imagine, okay, I'm going to give you a, 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 a just a hypothetical uh, example. In terms of death, or even happiness, okay? But death is usually, it makes... This family, they experience death in the family. They will feel it just themselves, we agree. But then usually we visit as neighbors, we share that pain. As long as we are there, they are no longer crying and, and shouting and, and screaming like before. They will now, we are sharing their pain. So now this one, we are sharing poverty. Here you are 100% poor, there you are 50%, you are 50%, but the two of us, we are carrying one weight. Imagine when you are carrying a box alone, alone, or a, a long log, a wooden log alone, and when two people are carrying it, who will feel the more weight, one or both? One. One. Yes, yes. So here, this one feels the positive character strongly, but here the positive character is spread out. So a resonance stabilization, you are spreading the positive character. You are spreading the poverty between this carbon and that one. You are not removing it. When you come to this one, say, no, that one is put there. I'm, not, I'm okay for now. And then you go there and say, no, then you are taken back and so on and so on. So that's resonance effect. Resonance effect spreads the situation. And then take down the, what I'm going to say. When both inductive effect and resonance effect operate, when both of them operate, when both of them operate, resonance effect dominates. It, it controls. Have you taken that down? That resonance effect dominates inductive effect. It means if both of them are, are operating and they don't operate in the same direction, sometimes they are both stabilizing, which is fair then, but still resonance effect predominates. Okay, now let's go to, to various resonance structures. Just to remind, refresh your memory, but also take you back into honors concept. From time to time, I'll refer to some examples at honors level. All right. If you take, let's take the following. CH2 plus, okay? Plus. Say it's an 
It's an example, and then you've got uh, the following. Let me write this one correctly. Like, I, it's the same example I've given you before. Because I want us to start with this one. Plus, okay. You are given structure A and structure B. But I want us to operate on B first. And we are writing the, we are drawing the resonance structures. And then I said to you, the first thing we must do is to say pi sigma. Immediately you label pi sigma, it means you know that the pi will always be used. So your pi electrons, both of them, will move over to here. They come in here. We have got carbon one, we have got carbon two, we have got carbon three. That's the number for convenience. What you need to know is that electrons cannot be given away, can be shared. These electrons, these pi electrons are coming between two and three through two. They are not coming to they are not coming to three, they can't jump because they belong equally to one and two. But this time two, take them away from one to make partnership with three. They have not been given to three. They have been used by two to make a bond with with that thing, uh, with three. So what we are going to get here, what we are going to get will be the, the following resonance structure. I will write it below there. It will be H, the C will be there, and then this H here. Now the positive charge goes to, to this one, and then the, the double bond comes to between these two. Close bracket, okay. How many resonance structures do we have in square bracket? How many resonance structures do we have here? Two. Yeah. Two times two, we agree. Now let us do the same. This time around, you do more, I do less. We are operating on A. And then I'm numbering these carbons with a red pen. I'm numbering them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I've numbered them. All right. Which which atom in A? We're not going to deal with B. Which atom in, in A? Yeah, is electron poor. Unnumbered carbon. Uh, what? Unnumbered uh, uh, carbon. Gentlemen, 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 you are playing. And you know, guys, all of you, I pity you. We are writing in a week or two's time. And you're still playing. I'm, t I'm repeating this question many times on different. Uh, I said you simply have to say positively charged carbon. And that's the only unique thing. If you say unnumbered, I don't even know what you mean by unnumbered. What if somebody, what if somebody no. thinks that plus plus is a number? Plus sign is a number. You should say positively charged carbon. Simple like that. How many positively charged carbon do you have in that A, structure A? One. One. Why can't you call it? Why can't you call it the way you see it? I'm trying to teach you the language of science and you, continuous, you are continuously playing. You are not picking up anything and the year is over. I said to you, if you are two, imagine yourself wherever you are and another one, there's another person close to you. One is wearing a cap. That's the thing that distinguishes you. If I say the person wearing the cap, nobody will go anywhere but to that, uh, nowhere will you go. Everybody will go to that person with a cap because that's the only thing that distinguishes the two of you. That's what science means. I say to you, carbon one, I mean, can you mute your, your phone or whatever there? Uh, carbon, I mean, structure number A, there's only one unique center. One, two, three, four, five, six are similar. The only different one is the positively charged carbon. We see that. Is that positively charged carbon? Full stop. So now, if we agree that that positively charged carbon is electron poor, if we agree it's electron poor, which, uh, which region, you have to count the carbons, you must say carbon 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 or 3 and 4 or 5 and 6 or 4, and, which region is closest to it, which, let me put it there, which electron rich region is closest to that positively, carbon, positively charged carbon? 
carbon one and two. What what makes carbon one and two rich? Is the five electrons? We agree. Yes. We agree. Yeah. yeah. So if you move if you move arrows, where will the arrow? What type of arrow first, and from where to where? What type of arrow you use to show movement of electrons? A double-headed arrow. Small arrow. Yes. Will move from the where to? one or to the between carbon one from? and the positively charged carbon. But there's no there's no pi electrons there. Where will it move from? And where to? It will move from the bond that is between carbon one and carbon two Please. to the bond that is between carbon one and the positively charged carbon. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Simple like that. It will move from here to there. And then when you do mechanisms, when you arrive, there's a change. When you left, there's a change. What do we get? What will we get? Tell me quickly. What you have not changed right quick, you have not have we made change between three and four? Yes or no? No. No. Have we made the change no. between five and six? No. Where have no. we made the change? No. One in two. Have we made the change between uh, no, we'll come we'll come to two. Have we made any change between one and this carbon? One and the top carbon? If so, what change have we made? Yeah. We now have the five uh, Double bond. Double bond. You agree? We have introduced a, 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 and then this carbon now is in noble gas configuration. It has got eight electrons around itself. The same applies to that. What about carbon number two? How many how many bonds are around carbon number two? How many electrons? Four. Six. 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 Two. six. Where? Six I only see two. I only see two. And I'm, I'm aware others don't know why you are saying six. Where is the other? Where is the third one? Where is the third bond? It's a hydrogen. It's a hydrogen. It's a hydrogen. That is not shown. Yeah, there's a hydrogen. You can show it if you want. You show it. So it's three bonds. What do you expect on any carbon that has got three bonds? Single bond. Positive charge. Any carbon that has got charge. Three a positive charge. A positive charge, you agree? Now it's carbon three, four, five, six. Which one is the nearest electron rich area closer to carbon number two? The same lady who had before. Three and four. Three and four. The five electrons between the five electrons between three and four will move over to where will they move to? Between two and three. Two and three. Between two and three, not onto two. It is you hold the we are three. We are if we are three, you hold the pen, you pass it to the next. You can't throw it to the to the third person. Each one of us is linked is if we are three, the middle person is the one who links us. So this pen can either be taken from four to between to two through three. So then and so on and so on. Complete the structures following the same pattern, and then you tell me how many resonance structures are in square brackets. Open a square bracket here. You tell me how many, how many resonance structures are there. And I'll explain the concept later. There's four resonance structures. <clears throat> Correct, there are four. And then if you look, uh, the positive charge was on carbon number two, number four, and number six, right or wrong, and the top. At some stage, the positive charge here in, in, on the board is on, is on the top carbon, carbon number two. The next structure will be on carbon number four, and the, the, the last structure is on carbon number six. Right or wrong? Agree? And it, it goes okay. back. If you, make the, if you make the last move, it will go back to where you started. Do you notice that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. So... How many resonance structures do you have for A, and how many resonance structures do you have for B? We have four for A and two for B. We have got four, we have got four and, and two. And I said divide 100 percent by the number of resonances. So how many percentage do you have here? For B, 50-50. We have three. It's 50-50. And then how many will you have the positive charge? If there are four resonance, 100 divided by four, it will be 25, 25, 25. We agree? 25. 25, yeah. 
yes. 25. So which, which one between A and B is, is spreading its poverty widely? The, the wide range, which one? A or B? A. 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 So do you see that A. the more the resonant structure, the more stable is the species. Full stop. Capital letters. So between A and B, which one is more stable? A. Why? A. A. Why? There's more resonant structure there. The, 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 you don't get it's that way. The more the resonant structure, the more stable is the species. Did you know that? No. This is new. You know it now. You know it. You know it now. So whenever you, that's why I always insist on resonance structures. And resonance structures in some cases can show you how a molecule reacts. And anyway, resonance structure tells you the more the resonance structure, the more stable it is. Sometimes you find the reaction can occur in two or more possible ways. And then in other cases, you count the number of resonance structures and say this is preferable. I'll show you, oh, that why is not, okay. Let me show you just, I, I'm jumping there and then just to show you something. Just to show what I mean, okay. Uh, usually you have got H. Let's say I'll put H2 so that there is not clumsy. CO, CH, and then CO. Let me say maybe I put R so that it's just any group here, yeah. okay. Okay? And then what I'll do, I identify polar bonds. Which one is a polar bond here? Which one is a polar bond? Between which atom do you have a polar bond? Oh. Yeah? Carbon and oxygen. Correct. Polar bond is between atoms of different electronegativity, other than carbon and hydrogen. So which one will be slightly negative? Between oxygen. 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 Why? 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 Science here, you just don't talk it's because more it's more electronegative. It's more electronegative. Than it can just be more. More than something. It's relative. Than it's more than something. Carbon. Than carbon, than yes. Carbon. Carbonyl carbon. Yes. So which means the pi electrons always spend most of their time around oxygen. What will be the charge on carbon if I make that move? In the next structure, what, what will be the charge on carbon? To be positive. Huh? Yeah. Positive charge. Maybe let me, it will be positive because I'm going to have CH3, C plus, and then O negative, we agree, and so on. That's correct. But I think I gave a, com a it's a perfect example, but maybe I should have started with a simpler one just to show you something. Let me first start with, we're coming back to this. Let me start with acetone or propanone, okay? The CH3, CH2. The functional group here, the functional group is carbonyl group. That's the functional group, okay, we agree. That's the functional group, it's a carbonyl group. So any carbon next to the carbonyl group is alpha. We have two alphas, we agree. It's alpha, it's number one. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, omega, and so on. And then I wanted to write H, okay? I wanted to include H. Maybe let me write it, for now let me put it as CH3. I say this is alpha, and then this is H, okay? Let me show you the importance of resonance, why I insist on them. And then this is slightly negative, this is slightly positive. What does that mean? It simply means the pi electrons spend most of their time around oxygen. Not on oxygen, around it. Okay. And then I close my resonance structure. That's the way it is. Okay? And uh, what did I say this in terms of Greek numbering? What is the, what do you call this carbon? What, what is the number for car this carbon? Alpha. Alpha. Uh. Okay? <coughs> Alpha. 
I said to you, teach you first year and jump to the honors. Teach you first year and jump to honors from time to time. Okay. If you look now, oxygen has pulled pi electrons towards itself, rendering carbon positive. We agree. Yeah. So now this positive carbon, this positive carbon will pull electrons away from this carbon. Like we're doing in the case of methyl carbon cation. You see that? We agree. Because this carbon is positive. This carbon is positive, which the other one is neutral. It's neutral. So it will pull away from there. Do you agree? What's happening? I see clouds on on, yes. on the other screen anyway. I don't know whether it's I'm cold in space a bit, but we will fix it. So now, what will this carbon? What will this carbon alpha carbon pull? From which atom will the alpha carbon pull? From which atom? It's like a train. If the locomotive, the locomotive is the, is the, is the, is the head of a, of, a, of a, it pulls a lot of tra trains or, or, or carriages. It pulls the second until they're all moving together. You know that. So if I, if, if I say we are three in the room, we are three in the room, we are standing in a row, and then I take, I take food from the second person, the second must pull from the, the first, or from the other one, or the third, whoever is, is, is the last person to, 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 to be taken, for food from, to be taken from. So which, which, from which atom will this carbon pull from? Hydrogen. The problem I said, from, from hydrogen, hydrogen, from hydrogen, from hydrogen, like this. So it will render this hydrogen highly electron poor. You see that? What do you call a positively charged yeah. hydrogen atom? What do you call it? Positively charged Proton. hydrogen. Proton. 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 In terms of acid, yes, it's a proton. In terms of acid bases, what do you call it? It's an acid acid, you agree? Because yes. it's a proton, it can be donated to a base. So this is acidic, but as we go further, as we go far away, let me show you one thing. This only operates up to yeah, as we go further to here, yeah. this effect stops at alpha. As we go further, this carbon is far away from electron pool of this one. It's far away from this electron pool. So this stops at hydrogen, not on carbon. So the alpha, only the alpha hydrogen feels strongly the electron withdrawing effect of this process, the carbonyl carbon. That's why we're saying the carbon and carbons are, I'll come back to this example. Let me raise it so that I demonstrate something, okay? All right, this way, all right. And it takes me to acid base theorem. I don't want to go there. Yeah, I'll come there later. So now, if you add a base, if you add a base, remember a base is this. If you are not given a base, it's a hydroxide ion. Do you see how I write a hydroxide ion? Not the way you write it, you put a negative charge on hydrogen. The negative charge is on oxygen. What will this negative, negatively charged oxygen do? Which hydrogen will it abstract? Highly acidic hydrogen. Which one? Which, which one? Which one is the acidic one? You, can, you tell me I'll go there. There are many acids. Which one? Which one? The one attached to, to the alpha carbon. This one. We agree. And when it takes that hydrogen, what happens to the electrons between carbon and hydrogen? What happens to them? They're taken. By what? No. They were taken by what? By hydrogen. You don't understand. Oxygen is bringing the electrons to hydrogen. We agree. This oxygen. How many electrons is it bringing to oxygen? I mean to 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 carbon. Two. I mean to hydrogen. Sorry, two. And then hydrogen cannot retain all those. Cannot have four electrons around itself. What happens to these one pair electrons? Where will they go to? Alpha carbon. To the alpha carbon. To, to the alpha carbon. Why? Because it, it, it's one of the owners. 
If we are two, we have a business and it collapses, only one of us will remain with it. And then it comes here, okay? Now you are going to have your CH3, the CH3 is the left hand side which I have not done anything on. And then I've got CH2. Negative like that. There was a plus charge. Remember there was a plus charge here. There was a plus charge here. Negative plus. Two, two adjacent opposite charges are just, it's not an elite. This is not an elite. Opposite charges, why am I saying it's not an elite? It's because then what is the net charge of this this species? What is the net charge of that species? Negative. If you do mathematics, if you do mathematics, what is the net charge? And the charge is, what is the net charge? What is the answer? It's not neutral. It's neutral. Negative. It can be neutral. Madame, say it, say it loudly. Negative. negative is minus two plus one. Minus negative. two plus one is negative one. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, sometimes just don't talk. We apply simple arithmetic here. We have two negative charges and one positive. This, these two charges cancel each other. It's zero, then it's negative. Okay. Now what is going to happen is that this negative will come here. We still have a resonance structure. And what do you call this? What do you call this species? I'll write it, let me write it this way so that we all see. And write it in green. We still have CH3. I've not done anything to this CH3. I write it quickly. I've not done anything to this bond. I write it quickly. I've not done anything to this bond with oxygen. I retain it. But then I have this bond here, but I brought a single and a double one. I brought the second one like that. And then I had CH2. These are the changes that I, I'm seeing. What do we call this species? With an asterisk. What do we call it? What type of ion do you call it? Inolate. It has got an alkene, okay. it has got an alkene and a, it has got an alcohol part. What do you call it? Inolate. Inolate. Inolate ion. Because it has got an alkene and an enol part. It's enolate ion. You see that? So how many resonance structures do we have here? How many resonance structures? Uh, one. Oh. I close them. I, how, when I say resonance structures, it's those I close in brackets. How many structures are in that bracket? Two. Oh. Two. 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 Oh. Ah. There they are. How many structures are in this bracket? Two. The problem is that you know if you want to if you want to master science, for as long as I ask you a question, you want to think that it's somewhere, somewhere then you are going to have a problem. I said science is what you see, not what you imagine or you think you should see. It's what you see. How many structures are here? Structure one, two. There are two. But because you want to count all over the paper, your, 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 your point of view or your eyes are all over the paper, you are going to have a problem. That's why you erase the other part so that you can see. Once you finish on the right, focus on the left. Forget about the right. If you did everything correctly, you can't keep on thinking about your, 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 your point of departure. Why do you want to, to go to, to the States? It's your first time you are going to the States. You can't be thinking about home. You must be thinking, what am I going to do? Why am I going to arrive there? You have left well, you are flying all over the Atlantic Ocean. Why should you be thinking about, about your, back, your steps at home? No. So these are two. And then now let us look at oh, this, this. Yes. Let's look at the enolate ion. This is a, this are regular structure, but this is an enolate ion. Enolate ion. Versus, remember this is negatively charged, negatively charged. And note one thing, throughout I'm putting electrons before the charge. The electrons, then the charge, not the other way around. Only positive charge goes alone. Let us look at carbon, we're starting, this is carbon number one, I'm not going to number them all, two, three, and it retains the same number the other side. Let's look at carbon number one in the structure written in blue. In the structure written in blue, 
How many electrons are on carbon number one in total? Eight. 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 How many electrons are on carbon number two? Six. 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 How many are on oxygen, the top oxygen there? Eight. Eight. How many are on CH, uh, the carbon with, uh, with three hydrogens? Eight. Eight. Is there, is there any atom that is, is uh, that is, Below octet state here, or noble gas configuration, and which one is it? Carbon two. Carbon number two. Correct. 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 Now let's go to the enolate ion. How many electrons are on carbon number one in an enolate ion? Eight. Eight. How many are on the central carbon? Eight. Eight. How many are on oxygen? Eight. Eight. How many are on the carbon CH3? Eight. Also eight. Which one, which one between the enolate ion and this carbon ion is more stable? Enolate. Enolate. Why? Why? Because all the atoms are in... Are in noble gas configuration. Do you see why I insist on resonances? Do you see why we insist on resonances? Yes. It is this resonance. It is this resonance structure that reacts, and it is this resonance structure that polarizes halogen molecules or reacts. It is this one that reacts, not this one. How many resonance structures do we have? Two. The more the resonance structures, the more the, the more. Are we together here? Are you realizing the importance of resonances? Res one of the resonance structures, all atoms will be in noble gas configuration. And that is, the dry that is the resonance structure that determines the way forward, the, 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 whether the reaction is going forward or not. Is that resonance? If you form this enolate, it's the one that will react, not this other one. Are we together? Yes. yes. Remember yes. this one. Remember this, this one here. This one is equivalent to this. It's equivalent to C, CH3. It's equivalent, no, sorry, wait a minute. This one is equivalent to CH2 negative here. It's a primary carbon ion, but it's stabilized by resonance effect of, of the carbonyl group. You don't see it, but I think you should be knowing that you're forming a double bond between C2 and oxygen. The, the, one of the resonance structures is the one that determines the, the forward way, I mean, the, 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 the the pathway, forward or backward. The cost of the reaction is determined by the most stable carbocator, uh, or, or intermediate. Let me not say carbocator. Sometimes a carbonyl, sometimes a free radical, sometimes. But if all atoms are in noble gas configuration, that is the preferred state. Whenever you do anything, strive for noble gas configuration. Okay, I wanted to show you something again. I'm just following this one, but I'll come to the previous example I've written here. Uh, let's take this one as an example, CH2. Okay. I, can, I can tell you now, I can tell you now, I can predict using resonance effect. Remember, this is alpha carbon, we agree. Yes. What will be this one then? If this is alpha, what will be that one? They are all relative to the carbonyl group. The carbonyl group is this. Anything closer to it is alpha, beta, and so on. What will be what will be this one now? What will be this carbon? In green designation. Beta. 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 You don't have to memorize chemistry. Chemistry, you don't memorize it. I can show you which one. Let's say the base can abstract both. Okay? Let's say the base can abstract both, any one of them, not at the same time. Let's look if it abstracts the beta carbon, if it abstracts the beta hydrogen. If OH minus abstracts this hydrogen, this hydrogen, sorry, we'll have that. You agree? Let me write, I always prefer to, to show it correctly to my students. If it abstracts that, 
what we are going to get will be will be the following. We will still have CA3. Quickly, I have not done anything on this. I'll write them quickly. CH2, and then CH2, but this time around, we have a negative charge here. We agree? No, no. Yes, negative charge. It's negative charge. We'll have a negative charge, okay? That is when it has abstracted the beta carbon hydrogen. Now let me write it in black. When it has abstracted the, gap, the, 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 the alpha one, what you're going to have is CH3, I'll write in the top, CH3, CO, and then C, negative, H, the other H, okay, CH3. We agree. Do we agree that this is what we'll get? Yes. Oh, if, look, oh, you want it when it is this way. By the way, somebody does not, if I look forward and I look back, the pattern doesn't know me. You have to know that science is just the same thing. You wanted me to write it this way. That is that. Based on resonant effect and everything, based on resonant effect and so on, which one do you, this is inductive effect, this will donate. Will donate. Inductive effect, this will donate, but this will prove. Okay? I, I change the, the number in here. In, uh, let me put them in red. I, I, this is Roman figure one and the Roman figure two. What type of a carbonion is this one? Roman figure one. What type of a it's a carbonion, but it's a negatively charged carbon species. What type of a carbonion is that one? Primary. Primary. It's primary, because the negatively charged carbon is bonded to only one other carbon. This is primary, we agree. So what type of a carbonyl is this one? Secondary. Secondary. Secondary, we agree. Secondary. Two carbons around it. The unique part here is that while CH3 is donating electrons, while CH3 is donating electrons, the carbonyl group is pulling, because remember the carbonyl group is slightly negative, slightly positive. So so this slightly positive carbon pulls the electrons away from the slightly negative one. And anyway, it's positively charged if oxygen takes electrons to itself. These electrons, this one's here, in blue. These electrons can come and form a double bond here. And then these ones will go to oxygen. You agree? Yes. And then yes. you get the resonance structure. Right? Draw the resonance structure resulting from that movement. Draw the resonance structure of of Roman figure two. Describe that resonance structure. You tell me where the changes are. You tell me between the two carbons there is this, between carbon and oxygen there is this. You tell me. Anyone? We have a double bond between um, the carbonyl carbon and the alpha carbon. Correct, and yes. A single, and, and a single bond between the oxygen and the carbon. And what else? on oxygen. A negative charge. Three lone pair. Three lone pair first and a negative yes, charge. Yes, yes. And a negative charge. Not the yes. charge doesn't come before electrons. Yes. And then can you do resonances on structure number number eight number I, I mean number one, Roman figure one. Can there be resonances? No. 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 So between Roman figure one and two, which one is favored? Two. Which one? Two. Two. Why? Because it has more resonance. Sing it, to, sing, sing, it, sing it to me. Sing it to me. Why? It has more it has resonance. More structure. The more the resonance structures, the more preferred is the speech. The more. So you do, yeah. So in terms of acid-base theory, remember in terms of acid-base theory, the parent acid, parent acid is this alpha hydrogen. And then the conjugate, the conjugate base is the structures we wrote in on the right-hand side. So the more stable the conjugate base, 
The more stable the conjugate base, the more acidic is the parent acid from which is derived. So this secondary carbocation is more stable than if you deprotonated the beta carbon because of resonance effect. So the more resonance structures, the more preferred, which means abstraction of this alpha hydrogen, is, the alpha hydrogen is more acidic on the left, on the left hand side, and it generates a more stable conjugate base. All right. Now we're coming, we're going to use the, almost the same concept. I'm increasing honors that year, every level at the same time. Let's go to another example just to show you the importance of resonance factors, resonance effects. I know it's 12 o'clock, others are busy, we are working and so on. We still have tomorrow, you still have emails to contact me and ask questions. And, and I don't take questions two days before the exam. And I don't take questions like what is the scope, but I don't take such questions. CH uh, let me put it this way. This is not a molecule, okay? It's not a molecule. I'll tell you why. A molecule has got all atoms written there, unless it's a line structure. I put it that way, maybe I put R here. This is alpha, relative to both carbon and carbon. Remember I said, you, you identify this, you identify that. This is alpha. It's in between them. But this is also alpha relative to that carbonyl group. Now I want to know, you want, I want you to tell me, at the glance, in the ground state, that is in the ground state, the, as the molecule is written, the ground state, as it is, which hydrogen between 1 and 2 is more acidic? 2. Why? I agree, but why? Look at the structure and reason from there. Say it. The answer is on the structure. It's not because of those two. Yes, because of those two like, carbonyl groups. That means which are electron withdrawing. Yeah, which are with, yeah, electron withdrawing. Yeah. They, it's more electron de deficient. How many withdrawing groups are on alpha? Alpha prime? One. Alpha prime is this. It's one. And that, no, alpha is this, sorry. Alpha is that. And how many withdrawings are on alpha? Are withdrawing groups are around alpha? Two. Two. So how many, so what you need to know, you are, you are, you are unable to say, the alpha hydrogen is surrounded by. It's surrounded by, or it's in between, or it's flanked by. That's English. It's surrounded by two electron withdrawing carbonyl groups. And I tell you, if you do it on paper, on your paper, I'll give you, when I, I, I select a bit and, and get some breathing space. If you do the resonance structures from this abstraction, you do that all the you write those resonance structures and also write separately the resonance structures coming from this abstraction, abstraction or deprotonation. Write them. And then apply the concept of the more the resonator, you'll tell me which one is more acidic. Write them. Draw all the resonance structures. I've given you the first step. Write them when it when when all the resonances when it takes the middle one. And resonance is when you take the, the, the terminal one on the left hand side. Be quick, be snappy, guys. Remember, the only way to be able to do it, you must include electrons on oxygen, lone pair. Correct Lewis structure from the beginning. I've deliberately omitted them here. How many resonance structures do we have for any of the attacks? I or 
one or two. Tell me. You are not talking. Uh, for I'm going to remain have, silent. For one, you have one. For the other, you have two. It's impossible. You can't have one resonance structure. If you have one, then you have no resonance structure. If it's one, you have no. Resonance structures are always more than one. It can't be one. Oh, yes, none. The, the lady, the lady, well, how many resonance do you have for, 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 for one? Um, but, but you have to write twice. You do it when it can't be on one structure. You have to write it twice. I stand it on the board because it's too small. It's three. three for which? It's three for two. Yes. And it's one. And how for many? For? There's no way it can be one. It's one. There. Okay, okay it's be two. one. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's two. Please. Yeah. So which hydrogen is more acidic between alpha prime and alpha and alpha? Alpha prime is the one with the dash on the top. Why? Because it has more resonance structures. It has more resonance structures. Yeah, that's that. So if you add a base, if you add a base to that structure, which hydrogen is going to attack? Which hydrogen is it going to attack? The one in the middle. The alpha hydrogen. For those, re for those reasons that are there, but in the exam or in the test or assignment, when we ask you, we don't want you to write both, both ways. In your notes, you write both. In the exam, you show us you understand, you only single out one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. If, yeah. I ask you, if, I, if I ask you the life cycle of a moth, the life cycle of a moth, and I say start after pupa. You tell me about eggs and so on, I'll give you zero. You must start where, it's, uh, where, where, where it is appropriate. So what I'm really saying is, when you want to see why, which one, you can predict the outcome of the reaction. So one of you, can, can you mute your phone there? If the, the session has been recorded, you'll see it. Though we may not understand it because it's interactive here. The thing I'm saying is, if you do one possibility, you should be able to rule out the other possibility by saying, oh, yeah, there are fewer resonances. It means it will prefer this. So if we give you that molecule, a molecule with that, you can tell a person, oh, if I add a base, it can react only here. Nowhere else but only here. Why? And you say, because here I'm going to produce more resonance structures, which means the conjugate base, if it's more stable, the acid from which it's derived was more acidic. We can show it even in small, in, in little chemistry. I mean, with small molecular size like alcohol and that. I'll show you one thing. Let me show you about alcohols and, 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 and a couple of really cases. This is an alcohol. Maybe let's say CH3, CH2, OH, king of life. Okay, like this one. Versus CH3. CHOH. You add a base here. The base is sodium hydroxide. And then you add a base here. Uh, I want to tell you one thing with chemistry. Chemistry is very simple. If you understand the Lewis structures and then understand the polar bonds. 
bond polarity. And for you to understand bond polarity, you must understand electronegativity. Which bond is polar in the case of ethanol? Ethanol is this first molecule. Which bond is polar? Between which atoms? Between the oxygen and the hydrogen. Between oxygen and the hydrogen. We agree. So which atom is acidic in ethanol? Which atom is acidic in ethanol? For you to know which atom is acidic, you must know what an acid is. If you know what an acid is, then you can easily answer this question. Which atom is acidic? What's an acid? So which atom is acidic? The hydrogen the attached hydrogen. to oxygen. It's acid. What is an acid? Simple definition of an acid. What's an acid? Proton donor. Pro what is a proton? What's a proton? Positively charged hydrogen. Positively charged hydrogen. So, if you look here, it already shows you that this hydrogen is positively charged. And you do the same here. Okay? This is the ground state. The ground state, you agree? For, ethan for ethanol, the ground state for, for ethanoic acid or acetic acid. But I can tell you myself, if somebody were to ask me, before even adding this basis, before adding this basis, before adding this basis, let me ask you, which, we have what, two, two oxygen atoms, one and two. Which, atom, which oxygen is positively charged here? Which oxygen is positively charged? Or which atom is negative, which oxygen is negatively charged then? If you write resonances, you'll see. Resonance structures will start this way. The pi electrons will go to oxygen, the top oxygen. Write them. Draw the resonance structures. Move the pi electrons over to oxygen and write them and tell me how many resonance structures you have. The last resonance is very the last resonance structure is the most important one. Draw them and you, you describe it. You only have one arrow. One arrow moving from the pi electrons to oxygen. Did you hear me? One arrow moving from the pi bond, the middle of the pi bond to oxygen. Only. What is the structure? Describe the structure you are, you are getting. Describe the structure you are getting, guys. We get an oxygen you that is... That is you three um, lone pairs, three lone pairs and, and a negative one. charge. Yes. And what? And a, you only went, a positive charge carbon. Yeah. You only made one charge, one change on the carbonyl group. Yes. That's what you have. Now you have got an electron poor atom. Which one is it? The same lady. Which one is electron poor then? Up on this structure. The, the carbon. On the structure. You, it's a positively oh. charged carbon. Where will, it, where will it get electrons from? From which atom will it share the electrons? It will, it will get from the um, ethyl, uh, methyl group. Uh, electrons. That's what we're I'm talking about electrons. Methyl group does not have electrons. You look at the structure, the I electrons closer to it. I don't talk about the I've oxygen. never meant the pool. I say from oxygen. There they are. Then what is the next structure, the third structure? Describe it. You are forming a double bond between carbon uh, and oxygen. What is the charge on oxygen? Bonded to H. It's going to positive. Positive. The one bonded to H. What else does it have? That oxygen. Around it, what does it have? I, I, you say it has a positive charge, I agree, but what else is around that oxygen? 
One lone pair. Electron. One lone pair. So what was really saying is that, remember, the first resonance structure that I said you move this. If you move these electrons, you are leaving a positive charge here. And in the third, in the other resonance structure that you are not, you have not written, you move one pair, you are remaining with another pair. Then that's the way the molecule should be. So if you look at the last structure, the last structure you've got a molecule, you have got a resonance structure with the following plus. You agree that the, the next structure you have got this you have got this combination. Yes. You agree? Yes. Yes. Really, it goes without saying. Let us compare this oxygen and this green one here. Which one do you think is highly electronegative? They are still the same oxygen, but which one do you think is highly electronegative? Highly electron pull, pulling. Just looking at them, I can see. The red one. No. The red one, yeah, why? Because it's positive. It wants back. How many lone pairs were here? Mm. How many? Okay. I mean, they're, they're written, they don't waste my time. Lone pair. A pair means two. Mm. How many lone pairs? Two. 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 If, if two lone colleagues, I said to you, this is science. If they ask you what professor Patel, what type of lab coat, what color of lab coat is he wearing, it's white. It's, it's white. You can't change. You must not look around for another color. It's white. You call it as you see it. So, how many lone pairs do you have on this positively charged oxygen? One. 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 How many lone pairs must always be on oxygen for it to remain neutral? Two. Like in Two. water? Yeah. Two. So what will all this oxygen do? It has it wants this electron back. What will it do? Where will it get them from? Hydrogen. From the double. That's oh, why it is highly acidic. No! That's why it is highly acidic. And this will be picked up by the vein. This will be picked up by base. That's why carboxylic acids are highly acidic. Can we have such a structure in the case of alcohol? No. Remember, we're still talking about the ground state before the molecule reacts with the base. If you draw the resonance structures of acetic acid, the last resonance, which has oxygen in noble gas configuration but positive charge, forces oxygen to, to get back its electrons. <coughs> and what we are going to get this time around, it will be CH3, CO negative. I got some voltage, and then you left this. We agree. You have the carboxylate yes. ion. You agree? Yes. And this is resonance stabilized. It's resonance stabilized. The, the lone pair from the negative oxygen will come back to form a double bond. And those between carbon and oxygen will go to the, car, to the oxygen on the right-hand side to form a negative charge there. So you'll have two resonance structures. But you can't have two resonance structures in the case of ethanol. So carboxylic acids are more acidic than alcohol. First, we compare them in the ground state as the molecule is written. You look for partial positive, partial negative. But the partial positive on carboxylic acid here is resonance stabilized or the resonance delocalization of electrons. The last structure which I have not drawn has an oxygen that is positive and a hydrogen. So it is easy to break that one. This bond is hydropolar. It's, it's, this is polar. This is almost ionic. Anything can take this hydrogen if it has lone electrons. Then, when you, after taking the lone electrons from that, you do the conjugate base. Conjugate base is the second step of, of, of an acid-base reaction, if you started with an acid. You'll notice that the conjugate base generated from acetic acid has two resonance structures. The one from al alcohol. The one from alcohol in the ground state, there's no resonance. So if you put a base, it will abstract this hydrogen, then you're going to have CH3, CH2, O, negative. This is destabilized. Let me tell you one thing, why, what I, do I mean why I say destabilized? Remember, oxygen, this is an electron donating group. 
Oxygen is already in noble gas configuration and negative. Doesn't need more electrons. It needs something that can take, that can reduce the electron density. So by donation, it makes this highly negative and highly reactive. So ideal stable. Another point that I've got to, to tell you, something that I, I've got to, to be knowing at honest level is the following. Uh, I want to show you quickly.